So the Namco Nagon, you're probably wondering either what the fuck is that, or oh man, I remember that controller, it was kind of retarded, and oh yeah, it was. Here is a box for it, Namco Nagon. I actually found the thing for two bucks, brand new. So to me it was worth it, I was just kind of happy to come across it. I always saw ads for it in like the back of EGM and everything, but never got my hands on one up until like a couple weeks ago. Here goes the controller right here, and it's pretty fucking big. <laughs> I mean, especially compared to a normal controller. Here goes a PS2 controller. Now let's stack these on top of one another, and as you can see, the Nikon is quite a bit bigger. It's just longer. I don't know, kind of weird. Mostly because of these on center, and that's so you can do this. And you're probably like, well, why the fuck do you want to twist and turn your controller? Well. This was sort of like their analog sticks, more or less. Get this way, get that way, get this way, get that way. And you just twist a controller. The odd thing about it, though, is that it's missing three buttons off a regular PlayStation controller. If you see right on top, immediately, you're probably wondering, where the fuck is L2 and R2? Well, they actually didn't need them for this controller. Also, there's no select button, which I thought that was weird, because you could just stuck it right there, but whatever. Um, right here, you can see the buttons, which are normal, normally triangle, square, X, circle, now replaced with A, B, 1, and 2. Oh boy. The odd thing about is, I'm going to try to get a decent angle here of it. These buttons, right here, see this is concaved. These buttons go in really fucking deep. Like, it's, it's really strange, just, yeah. And then these ones, they they just don't. I don't know. The digital pad is probably my biggest complaint about this controller, though. It's It feels so fucking cheap. It really does. Especially when you're like, oh, man, check it out. PlayStation digital pad. Pretty awesome. You know, I love their D-pad. This, no. <laughs> no, this is some cheap-ass bullshit. Their D-pad's just fucking poop. You can kind of look at it and be like, wow, that, that looks cheap. Like, dollar store cheap. Yeah. But other than that, uh, the controller is actually pretty functional. It does what it needs to. What's neat about it, though, is that this thing's compatible with a whole crap load of games. So if you go online and just, you know, Google it and figure out what the compatibility list is, it's pretty high. Um, on the back of the box here, see, there's this little code right there. Well, the whole entire point to that code was to show you that on the back of some of the games. This is Rage Racer, which is just Rage Racer, but whatever. And see, that same exact code is right there, kind of just telling you, hey, dumbass, you can play it with this. So, original Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer 4, and oddly enough, even on PS2, Ridge Racer 5, which it doesn't have the code anymore, it just has the Negcon logo. These have an it has the Jagcon logo. I don't have the Jagcon. Um, it normally came pre-bundled with Ridge Racer 4, and it was just like having a PlayStation controller with a little wheel in the center. It, it was strange, but it was kind of cool. I really wish I had it, but oh, fuck it. The controller, though, just all around, um, it's neat. You can use this for a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you can actually use it for like flying games too, which is interesting to think about. I personally haven't gone to try that yet. I only tried on some of the racing games and I thought it was neat for like the novelty of it, but for the most part, I'd rather just be using this. And I wouldn't be using their D-pad because what did I say before? It's fucking poop. Yeah. But in any case, for $2, you really can't beat this. And if you're like a hardcore collector, it's kind of nice to come across, especially brand new. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. It, the interesting thing, though, is that it actually works with some PS2 stuff. Um, it doesn't work with all PS2 games. Ridge Racer 5 is a first-gen PS2 game. So some of the earlier ones, like I said, the compatibility list, I don't know how many games people have actually tested on it, but I'm sure that there's a lot of games that you could use on it. So... 
you get really bored and you just want to tinker around with something different, <laughs> get this. Do it. Do it. Buy me. Nobody else did because they didn't love me. And that's pretty much true. I'm...